guest tonight is a two-time Emmy winner. Uh, she's got a recurring role on House, which is on Tuesdays on the Fox Network. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh dear. Please welcome the incandescently lovely Celia Ward, everyone. <laughs> Oh, aren't you lovely? Have you got your microphone on? Are you all right? I do, I do. I don't like to put it in the back. You know, it looks like you have a big thing growing out of your back. Well, I, uh, I have got a big thing growing out of my back. <laughs> I've got a bit, I have gotten a bit wobbly over Thanksgiving, actually. I've put on the beef. You have no. I ass. have, too. I've, I've got, I ate a lot of turkey, about four of them, on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> do, you, do you have a big Thanksgiving? Do you have a, do you have a big family do? You go back Usually, south? yeah, but you know, we stayed here this year for the first time. Really? And uh, it was very quiet and kind of lovely not to get on an airplane. I, I, I left it. But I was watching you during your whole monologue and introduction. Didn't have a clue what you were talking about. Neither did I. But um, we were, you look so handsome. You're like extraordinarily energetic. <laughs> really? Yes. You know, all the women back there, so I, I, I'm really addressing what you were saying about gaining weight. I'm going, you look so fabulous. Really? Well, you know, I'm always very happy when you come on this show and say stuff like that. <laughs> but I, I thought you would have gone back south for the holidays. Are you going to go down there for Christmas? I'm not. I'm not. You know... What's, what is it with you? I thought you had this lovely place in I the do, south. I do. I do. Are you, you working? Know, are you, is that this why? will be boring to the rest of the country, but my child, who is about to go into the seventh grade, has to take these major exams. Really? Like, For seventh isn't grade? ridiculous? That's so stupid. Ridiculous. So Listen, I, I, in January. I dropped out of high school and went through rehab, and I'm okay. Yeah! <laughs> I don't, I don't know that that's a career plan, though. I don't know that... I might not tell him about no, that. No, don't but... tell him about that. You know, I once got asked to go back and speak at my high school. I said, what am I going to tell him? Drop out, get drunk for 15 years? <laughs> it's, it's... Now, you were, you, were very, you were very good at your school, weren't you? Weren't you a cheerleader and everything? Yeah. Wait, where, what was the school? In college? The, the University college, of yeah, Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, University, University of, of Alabama. Alabama. Yes, so not, and I've talked to you about this before because you didn't know who Bear Bryant was. Well, I didn't know at the time. I know Do now. You, you know told now? me who Bear Bryant was. Because they're crazy for the, the football down there, yes, aren't they? Yes, they're crazy for it. They've it's got the, like they've... religion. It's it's awesome. And Alabama's doing so great this year. All yeah, the and they've got the Tusca, Tuscaloosa. That's where they've got yes, the stadium, Tuscaloosa. right? Tuscaloosa. And they've got Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. And they've got... Isn't the stadium holds like 80,000 people? And the, the, the they town's about 50,000 people their, or something? Yeah, they used to play all their games in Birmingham because, right. the, you know, people came from all over the South. It was wild. You'd be on the interstate and you'd see cars with streamers and shoe polish, you know, go Crimson <laughs> Tide. And it was just, it's an event. Now, what's but the then they built a yeah. stadium in Tuscaloosa. So, so now they've got there, this giant stadium that's yeah, got yeah. room for more people than live in the town and they fill it every game. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I, I should take you there. I, I, I'd like to go there, actually. I wouldn't mind meeting a couple of Crimsonettes. Okay. <laughs> you weren't a crimsonette, though, were you? You were a. Uh, you were a. Uh, no. What is a crimsonette? A crimsonette is, uh, I, I, I think, one of the cheerleaders or the twirlers. They're the twirlers. Oh. Uh, but the cheerleaders are different from twirlers, they aren't are. they? They are. I didn't know the crimsonettes. <laughs> the, crim <laughs> the crim. They had the crimson. <laughs> I don't know any either. I just wanted them or something. That's all. <laughs> They had the Crimson Girls and the cheerleaders. And I, can't, I don't know. I didn't. That's new to me. The Crimsonettes? Oh, no. They're big. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're, it's a whole new thing. Didn't, didn't you twirl then? What's the no, difference, to, what's the difference twirl. between twirling and cheering? A baton. <laughs> you can't cheer with a baton? All right. All right, I get it. Now, listen, okay. talk to me about the house thing, the medical drama that you're doing. Uh, Are you having a good time with that? Hugh I, Laurie's on it. I lovely. actually am, am having a good time. He, he's great. He's yeah. great to work with. He's so talented. You know he's oh, British. He is British. Yeah. And you wouldn't know that. And then when he, on the weekend, or you get a phone call from him, and it's the, this beautiful Queen's English, and I'm going, oh, my God. Don't, don't say Queen's English. He oh, doesn't like that. He doesn't? <laughs> does that? Well, tell me what that means. It's kind of I good. thought that meant that it's a beautiful well-educated it can mean that beautiful well-educated confirmed bachelor that enjoys a parade that's what it means um, okay and, that, and that's and that's not you <laughs> <laughs> we have to we have to take a break we'll be right back to seal award everybody
Welcome back, my lovelies. I'm here with Celia Ward. I, uh... <laughs> well, I am. Um, do you get people uh, doing your accent to you? I get people doing my accent to me all the time, and they're terrible at it. And you've got the southern kind of accent thing. Do people do it? Do they go, hee-haw, at you and everything? <laughs> I, have, I don't think I've experienced that. Never? <laughs> do they do my accent to me? Yeah, the people come up to me and go, Oh, ho, ho, creaky, aye, Star Trek! And I'm like, ah. Yeah. No. They don't? No, no. Do you ever use your accent? I do. Do you really? I do. Isn't that fun? You, yeah, you can turn it on and off. Uh -huh. What do you I use it, it for? Um... I, I'm not sure where it comes in handy. <laughs> I can think south. of a couple of. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I only um, when I'm around Southerners, I, I fall into it just not even thinking. And when I'm down there, it does come in handy. Yeah, and I love it. It's I mean, a very I love nice my accent. Native. I'm very, very fond of the Southern accent, especially it. on the ladies. Yeah, yeah, it's something very kind of. Oh my word! You know, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that's the accent. That's the best I can do. I'm yeah. saying, hey. The what? movie with Kevin Costner. Tell me about this. Oh, oh. Yeah, we've got to talk about the okay. movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, the the Guardian. Know what movie. It's The Guardian. The Guardian, And, yeah. and um, Andy Davis, who directed The Fugitive, which I was in, is directing. Oh, and I love And I'm going to play that. Kevin Costner's wife. So it should be really fun. With Ashton Kutcher. Uh -huh. And they're playing he's these a, Coast a... Guard rescue guys, these swimmers. What are you doing? So, I'm his wife. You're his wife. Don't and you... I'm unhappy that he's always in the water rescuing people. Does he wear... <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? That, that's the story. That oh, come thing. on, stay at home, stop saving yeah. people. <laughs> you know, they may exactly. want to work in that. The fugitive was great, but this... You know, nothing explodes, no one-armed man, no kind of jumping no, off... No, but a, people are drowning, you know. People that's, are drowning. Yeah, that's the... Sharks? Any sharks? <laughs> no sharks. You can't, you can't have a movie about the water and have no you sharks. You have the most beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. Oh, my God. Okay. So do you. But anyway, the, right. it's going to be fun. I, I start filming in February, so I'm excited about that. I, now, uh, can I just suggest that maybe you'd like a shark in there? <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe if you haven't started making it yet, okay. you, you want maybe want to get a shark in there because Spring Break Shark Attack was one of the best movies ever made. I'll suggest anything that I don't have to be part of like that. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make sure Andy knows about your suggestion. Yeah, a shark or, or maybe some deadly piranhas. Okay. Where are you going to... Where are you going to I, I like saying piranhas. <laughs> it makes me feel like a Bond villain. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Ah, so, Mr. Bond, see my deadly piranhas. See? <laughs> what they, where are you making this film? <laughs> In Alaska. Alaska? And... Nobody goes in the water in Alaska. <laughs> Alaska in Shreveport, Louisiana. I was supposed to film in New Orleans, which is so sad. Hey, did you have family down there during that? Yes, yeah, yes, because you know I'm from is Mississippi. Everybody... Yeah, I know. Is everybody okay? And uh, everybody is well. Not everybody. Well, certainly. no, I know. But everybody... my, in my hometown, my family's okay. Not going. Thank you for asking. Yeah. And my, can I tell you the cutest thing my son did, which I'm so proud of him, is 11 years old, and right. he because this is like his second home, and of course we're so neurotic. I'm immediately going out going okay we're not prepared for an earthquake and we've got to go you know gather everything yeah and he said mom we can do better than this and so he said let's do our own backpacks and it's called preparedpack.com p-a-k your son my this? son's company which of course we've had to help with a lot and i'll be stuffing those backpacks <laughs> and um all the profits go to hope village for children that's taking in kids from uh displaced from katrina oh wow that's fantastic what's the name of that again let's say it so the people get it it's it's called Prepared Pack, P A K. Preparedpack.com. Yes. Not, right, and good. Preparedpack.com, and all the profits are going to these kids. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You, you are such an enchanting woman. Thank you. See you all, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> you sure this is on CBS? <laughs> Please welcome Seal Award, everybody. Seal Award. Sensational! You look really oh, gorgeous and oh, thank yeah. you, thank but then you, you very rarely don't. In fact, I've never seen you not look good. 
Well, thank you. I haven't been on here in a long time. Well, I know. I, I, I'm kind of concerned. But now you're on CBS, they will make you come here. I <laughs> Unless the show does really well, then you'll be allowed to go elsewhere. And I think it will because it's CSI. That's right. It's yeah. a great show. But I'm worried about our budget because I, I didn't see that thing here before. And the I was robot? wondering, did they, like, cut your budget and you couldn't have a real person? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the true reason. I like to think it's my, you know, my incisive deconstruction and comment on the state of late night television, but it's really because we don't have any money for a real guy. Well, we're having to shoot two shows at one time. Really? Yeah, budget. And, it's and tough you, shoot out them, there. you shoot them in LA, not, not in New York, right? Both. We, well, we're in New York only one time a week. And one, one, one time, one week a month. Not uh, one time a week. That'd be a lot of commuting. Yeah, that would be a lot of yeah. Are you a bit drunk? No, but uh, I, I... Little bit, man, little bit, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Nah, I'm kidding you. I'm Are wishing. You... No, <laughs> I'm no. wishing I was about now because... No. I always forget how southern you sound when you're not, you know, at the acting. You sound very... No, but you know, this, this gal I'm playing, Joe Danville, on CSI, is southern. So you get to so relax. So I'm getting to relax, and yeah. I'm getting to use my southern accent. It's a lot of fun. My daughter keeps going, Mom, I'm just trying to understand when you use this accent. What is that? And I go, because I'm, I'm, I'm like making a joke, and it's a southern joke. I'm driving them all crazy. Yeah, but I thought, I thought you lived down in, in uh, Tennessee or Alabama. Yeah, from Mississippi. Mississippi, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew it was there somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's the South because you're a big fan of uh, Alabama, aren't you? I the, went to the University of Alabama. Yeah, well, that's because that's what, you're the Crimson Tide. That's right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was a cheerleader. I know they have the they have the, the cheer. <laughs> you were a cheerleader. Yeah. Do you still have when your Bear outfit? Bryant was there, <laughs> I actually do. I you do. do have your outfit. I do have my outfit. Do you ever, um, Why are you asking? I just. <laughs> it's hot in LA, isn't it? <laughs> How hot was oh, it? Never your mind. Oh my. Yeah, I know. Do you like skeletons? <laughs> I do now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shut up. I, I, don't, I don't care for them myself. I'm kind of, you know, I've kind of gone off them a bit. I used to like them, but not so much anymore. So listen, you, you don't, you're not living down in the South anymore then. You're living in L.A.? I live in L.A. Yeah. You know, my kids are in school here, so I've been here for quite a while now. Right. A long time. Do you have to practice the accent then to get it back? No, I just have to think about how hot it is here. Yeah, and it reminds me of down south. It is very hot it down is so there, isn't it? Hot. But it's but here it's a dry heat, there it's a wet heat. That's true. Yeah, I don't really know what that means. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You're just both uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, no. I think the dry heat's less uncomfortable. It's kinda like a sauna. Um yeah. <laughs> oh dance. no get off. Really? I mean I will get rid of you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're having a bit of a thing. It's hot. I'm cranky. I know. Do you get cranky in the heat? Oh, but don't be cranky. Really? It's also fine. Do I wish I wish uh, you'd brought your cheerleader outfit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to try it on. Just to try it on once would be um. would be a real dream for me. Now, do you? Do you, uh, do you still practice? You don't do any cheerleading now, do you? Is there any cheerleading oh, at home? Lord, no. No, Craig. not really. When the kids are at school, your husband and you just really think, oh, I'll give you a bit of a cheer. <laughs> I don't even think I could fit in that thing anymore. Oh, come on, you could. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and if sure it's too tight, that's actually better. <laughs> I'm creeping myself out now, actually, as I realize that. No, do you, do you still keep a place down there? Do you have a place down I there? I do. We have a farm there. We go every oh, summer when really? it's hot as it can be. That's why this is just nothing to me here in L.A. today. Now, what's the, what kind of farm do you have? Do you have uh, pigs, sheep, goats? We have horses that are just pretty to look at because they're mm. all rescue horses. Right. You, know, you can rescue wild mustangs. and So we get, don't really ride them. None of us are real horse people. So just the horses just But they kind just of... look beautiful. Yeah. And have a couple of cows, and they look really pretty too. And right. So it's basically it's a farm based entirely on aesthetics. Then, yeah. Exactly. You're, you're, you're like you get in here if you're pretty. So don't exactly. be coming here if you're an ugly looking pig. Or, That's right. Yeah, out of here. Yeah, you want beautiful. Oh. You want to get a unicorn or something? You that dread. would be nice. Yeah. Did you uh, did you you don't ride them at all then? 
So what do you do in the farm? Do you just walk around looking at awesome animals? Well, we fish and we have, you know, a little jet ski and four-wheeling. Is this a farm? This is kind of a resort. (laughs) (laughs) What about you growing the vegetables? I've turned it into a resort. It was so funny. Somebody I know said to me, because I love to decorate. I mean, I love doing spaces and flipping houses and that sort of thing. Right. It's a real passion. And a friend of mine, I heard her on the phone going, well, Sheila's run out of things to decorate, so she's decorating dirt. And I was fixing up the, putting sand out in a little peninsula and putting little beach chairs, a little sign that says Hawaii, pretending we're really somewhere else. I made a little beach. You made a beach? But you imported sand and put it? I imported all that beach dirt and I decorated it and it's just (laughs) fabulous. Man. (laughs) It's time you went back to work, absolutely. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. You're importing, where do you import sand from? A quarry, I suppose. You didn't import it actually from Hawaii, did you? Well, no. We actually have prettier sand in the Gulf of Mexico. Right. There you are then. Yeah. Yeah. So you just get some sand and you make your own beach and you make it look like Hawaii. That's and you've right. got beautiful horses walking around and then you jet ski through it. Yeah. <laughs> It works for me. Yeah, no, it sounds very nice, actually. Right. It sounds really nice. Mm-hmm. Is it a big place? Um, it's big enough. It's mm-hmm. big. It's big enough. Big enough yeah. for jet skis and unicorns? Enough, yeah. I mean, we, the jet ski goes around in a circle. It's not that big of a right. lake. But it can be quite great. dangerous, you know, the jet ski. It's the motorcycle of the ocean. <laughs> Do you ever ride motorbikes? N- no, too dangerous for me. Well, jet skis are dangerous. But I don't ride those either. <laughs> Do the horses ride the jet skis? The kids ride the jet skis. All right, so you just watch them. You're just watching things. You just like to watch, basically. I really do. (laughs) You don't need to, Jeff. I think we're all thinking it. Now, tell me about working. Tell me about working with Sinise, Gary Sinise. He's an uncomfortable, nasty fella, isn't he? Well, I call him Big Daddy. <laughs> he's he's nice. the Big like Daddy of the set. He is a great guy. He he's, really is. You know, he's very involved in the USO. Yes, I was I was talking is. about it once, and he was a guest on the show, and he made me go on my first USO tour. He went, yeah, we can all talk about it, Craig. We're all busy. Come on, move. And, and then he phoned me up the next day, and I'm like, all right, stop, stop it. It's creepy. He was like, no, no, it's not creepy. Just go. And he made me go. I'm kind of scared of him. <laughs> But it was probably a great experience. It's fantastic. Wasn't I go, it? I go when I can now. I go all the time. But yeah. it's, uh, but I, I hadn't done it before. And he's, he's got the Lieutenant Dan and the Dan Band thing. That's right. He'll have That's you play right. the mouth organ if you're not careful in that band. <laughs> and if I could do it, I sure would. Yeah. It's do you play a, a musical cause. instrument? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but you do. I-
I'd love to hear. No, no, I was going to offer if you wanted a... Oh, no. <coughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I could probably get a fresh one. <laughs> By the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> He's a great guy. He, well, he is Denise, really yeah, a wonderful fun. man. Yeah. He is, but I do call him Big Daddy because he's, he's the only because he's the only sort of adult on the show. He t he stays in his trailer, makes sure we're all there on the set, and then he'll come in because we're a little delinquent. Yeah, all right. So he's Big Daddy. He's no, great. He's no a, other he's a, reason for calling Gary Sinise <laughs> Big Daddy. <clears throat> no unsubstantiated internet rumors about Gary Sinise. <laughs> Have you heard that about him? I've heard that about Gary Sinise. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just making this up, but uh, that was uh, that was. What a is that? It's a snake. Well, and why? Because I like to look at him. Ah. Much like a horse. I... <laughs> In your bed. Hey. Anyway, listen, we're out of time. Good luck with the CSI and the, oh, the new you're season. So and, and give my regards to Gary. He's a wonderful man. Uh, it's lovely to see you again. Seal aboard, everybody. Thanks. We'll be right back.